Now, the Greens, they've gotten early with their budget for all mothers. It sounds good. Julianne, uh, we're going to go to the guests very, very shortly, but quickly, how will it work? Just... It's a very simple step to give parents more time and resources with their babies and when their kids are in school. Because we know if we make life easier for parents, we're going to have a better society for everyone. And so, you know, extra sick days, up to 10 sick days mandatory, so people have time to look after their kids when they're sick. Um, extending the parental tax credit to those who are on uh, low incomes. How much a week? Up to 220 a week. All right, yeah. we'll come back to you, but let's go to the guest. A lot of people are struggling. A lot of families are struggling. So I've got the lady who, um, who gives fantastic advice, financial advice in New Zealand. In fact, you're just about to go off and get an order of merit New Zealand, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Dr. Pushpa Wood. So for families like myself, we're all struggling. Have you got some tips, saving tips? What are your most obvious saving tips to uh, tell New Zealanders? I think the saving happens two ways. One is you put money away, and the second one is you reduce your debt level. That is also a saving. So it depends what uh, particular category you are in. But whatever way you are, I think if you involve the family in the whole discussion and in the money conversation, the better results are likely to be. The whole family, even my nine-year-old daughter? Your nine-year-old is the best person to actually talk to about money management. Why is that? Because they are the ones who would keep you on track. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> that's great, that's great. And I love the idea that you give yourselves, or I read somewhere that you suggest giving yourself pocket money, and if you don't spend all the pocket money, you then tip your purse out at the end of the week and save that. That's my uh, biggest saving tip that I have been practicing for last, I think, 20 plus years. So I have a set amount I give it myself every Monday morning that goes in my wallet. Next Monday morning, whatever I haven't spent gets tipped out in my saving jar and I put the next amount. And that takes away the temptation of spending more than what you have. It's so right. good. Same. Right. I'm inspired. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Far out. Very, very... Thank you. Yeah, hey, round of applause for Dr. Pushpa Wood. And congratulations. Very, very, very cool indeed. Um, look, just back to this uh, 10 days sick leave annually. Some bit... people already get that, like yeah. people working in Parliament get that, but lots of people um, don't have access to that. They don't have the time to look after the kids. I think most people would agree when you've got kids, having those days that you're able to stay home with them when they're sick, take care of family responsibilities, it's important to be able well, to do what, that. What, what, what about, what about, There's what also about... extra support um, for... Bing. Okay. Poor parents right, who Julian. have early... Let's go around the pad. Let's go around the school, pad. After school well, care? Yeah. Sounds fair to you? S well, look, I, I agree with the sentiment. It's fantastic that, that idea of supporting mums. I mean, we've already increased paid parental leave. We're making Not sure kids enough. are immunised. Uh, we've got free... Increase the age of free uh, medical health. Uh, we've, we're, the results, uh, increased subsidies for ECE, more kids in ECE than ever before, more money in ECE than ever before. So I agree with the sentiment, but and it's ten, not, ten it's not days. the right... And, and what, what about this, uh, what about this, uh, this wahakura, the pipi, the, the pipi pot idea, and that, the Greens policy of that, do you agree with that? No, well, look, if you want to buy one of those things, you know, oh. get, didn't go, you go, go, didn't go you for it. Didn't you guys do a bit of a U-turn no, on not, that? This is all about government interference. I mean, let people it's decide for themselves whether they want to buy one of these pods or not. Not everybody is in your they can't situation afford it. to no, make that decision, Look, Alistair. There is lots Particularly of, the families there, who are There is a lot of stuff risk. we're already doing with uh, young people and mums and support, as I've just said. So right. it's not, I agree with the sentiment, but I don't agree with the Grant, execution. Grant, will, 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 will this become Labour policy, the Green policy? Uh, well, we'll have to talk about that. I mean, the, princi oh, the, the principles... Because oh, oh, guess what? Oh, we are separate parties, yeah, so just, yeah. just remember but, that. But, but, but the sound, principles does it sound the, good to you? The principles of it do sound good. And Alistair's actually wrong. The problem is that there's a whole group of people who don't get paid parental leave who still need support in those early years. We've got a policy called Best Start, does very similar things, spread over three years years so that there's support for that period of time. But I think that if parties uh, are going to stand at this election and say, you, you know, you can make a choice to pay for a peppy pod, what if you don't have the money? How out of touch is that from Alistair? It's you don't need a wrong. pod. Response? Look, you don't Quick need response. a pod. Why do you need to have a pod? Because pod is world best practice. Look, my it's kids, world best none practice. of my kids are in pods and they're fine. All right. Well, I mean, you could look at the evidence. Who gives, who you could look at pod? the evidence. Okay. Who, who wants to look at the evidence of what's going to be effective at reducing cot death in vulnerable populations? We do. Not David, national, David obviously. Seymour, your, your thoughts... Your thoughts on the Greens policy. Mother's getting $220 every week. Well, it's the same every election. Every election, 
the left say just a little bit more tax and a little bit more spending, then we'll reach a social utopia. They do it every single time. There's now fifteen. There's now fifteen and a half thousand dollars of spending for every person in New Zealand every year, more than the original architects of the welfare state ever imagined. And here they are again for another election, trying to buy votes, saying just a little David, bit more spending is going to bring us but, to the but, social but, utopia. You, 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 ask, you, you ask. You ask, how will it work if you look at Finland? They've been doing what the Greens have been doing for 75 years. They have yep. the, one of the world's lowest rates of uh, infant mortality. So it works. So why don't you get on no, board with no, it? No, 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 no. Look, you're, you're smarter than that, Wallace. <laughs> Finland is a completely different country from New Zealand for a whole range of reasons. They've been and doing the it for 75 years. years. That that we, we, have, in New we have vastly better infant mortality rates than Finland has had for 70 of the 80 years they've had this policy. If you want to properly analyse it, get your numbers and facts right. Well, they, don't have better, they don't have better infant mortality statistics because they have these pods. That is intellectual well, laziness. Well, no, no. Fact, no, it is. No. It is. And, and the fact of the matter is, the real things that make families succeed are personal responsibility oh and God. love. Fake those news. Are the things, Fake those news. Are the, no, those are the things Wallace. that make families work, not government handouts, extra tax, and people trying to buy elections with other people's money. Wow, OK, all right. <laughs> let's go, actually, let, let's go to the audience, Belda. What do you think about this policy? Let's go to the audience. Charlotte. Oh, OK. <laughs> what do you think of the policy? Do you think that we should be having uh, pods in New Zealand? No, I like what uh, David's been saying. You think that pods are just a... a well, Finn, it also, it's difficult comparing New Zealand to Scandinavian countries because they've got different wealth system, like oil being uh, taken out of their seas, which we're not allowed yeah, to different. do here. So it's quite hard to compare uh, like with like. OK, what about sickness? Should we have ten sick days or five sick days? Oh, I have, don't have a view on that, really. OK, back to Wallace. All right, very, very good, very, very good. Hey, uh, just briefly, so your, your comment on that, you wanted to say something? Oh, no, I just wanted to, to let David know that his kind of retro 1980s <laughs> kind of economic theory actually oh. didn't work. It's over, oh. David. It's finished. Oh. Oh. OK, all right. All right. Quick response, quick response. No? Oh, I mean... There, there wasn't a lot to respond to. It's sort of the yeah. I'm cool of the new argument, and Grant Robertson's the worst person to make it. Oh. That's enough. All right. <laughs> All righty. Oh, just by the way, just a, Juliet, a bit of a quick clarification from the, our audience uh, member. Finland, uh, confusing with Norway. Uh, yeah, I think it's, he's thinking of Norway as the one with oil production, not Finland. All right, mm. OK. There's a lot of fake news going around tonight, isn't there? Uh,